<laughs> oh my god, the gavel's here somewhere, right? That's We're, called lack of frontal lobe development. We got a thumbs up. We're on. We got a thumbs up. We are live. Awesome. Thank you, everyone, for joining it. the City and Community Relations Committee meeting on Monday, April 17th at 5.30 p.m. In attendance today are board members Kara Meeker and Sarah Robinson and myself, as well as Superintendent Murphy. Um, board member Barb Higgins is unfortunately unable to be here tonight. We have a relatively short agenda. Well, it has five pieces, but I imagine we can get through them rather expediently. Uh, <laughs> first, discussing visibility and community outreach. I know last year... I had high hopes that we would have been more out in the community, but time planning management, not not one of my strengths last year. So hoping to try and be more present in the community. I know the farmer's market is beginning in, I think approximately three weeks. So okay. preferably right. doing some planning to get some permits in adjacent to the farmer's market um, because we are not related to the farmer's market whatsoever. Nope. Um, and any other spring events or thoughts about where we should be present. So I guess I will open the floor to the other two board members if there are any thoughts. Um, we don't need a permit for the sidewalk outside of the state house. No, we do not. But I think it's always great to have just for precautionary measures. That's very Jonathan Weinberg of you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you want to get, I don't know that we've had one before for okay. a tent, just cause I think, oh, I think you like don't need a permit there. if you're just standing, but I think if you have like a standing table and such, yeah, I think it's good to have. No, it's good to have. So yeah, if, if that's possible, Kathleen, is that your I, doing? Is that something you have to do? It, it's either you or me. I'm happy to do it. Or if, yeah, I know you, I haven't done it. So the permit, I've not. Oh, I just saw it. you writing it down with purpose, and I was like, well, probably to probably to probably to remind me. Probably say, Excellent. Jonathan, have you on the? Okay, good, yeah, good. good. But table and tent, um, just making sure we have all of our great. Our stuff. Definitely table tent materials. Mm -hmm. um, probably updated uh, we have the trifold. A new yeah. trifold. Great. Um, with the information, our strategic plan. Yep. Uh, we have the CRTC uh, stuff. Love it. That's great. I love it. Thank we're you. Using it too for our recruiting. We're, like we're, mm -hmm. uh, Quincy and uh, Michelle are out on the recruiting road this spring mm -hmm. looking for candidates. So. Brilliant. That's great. And so let me put on my to-do list, get permit. I'll try and make sure that is completed within the next couple of weeks, at least Thank for you. that one general area. Tag me in if you need help with that. Um, remember, you can't even have a schedule with people like you did before. Absolutely. That will be the plan. First steps is just getting the permit. Steps by steps. And then send out a, what we did two years ago was have this schedule where board members just filled in names about various days uh, okay. when, when worked. We did every single weekend, probably not going to be every single weekend because of the time commitment that requires from 8 to 12. Um, but I think once we get the permit, we can get into more specifics about what timing looks like. Um, any other thoughts, Ms. Meeker? It's okay if you don't. Uh, no, I, well, I was just going to ask about schedule. I was going to ask about logistically when we do sign up, like where we get the table and the, like if there's a tote of materials that we bring, like I'm sure there's a system that I will be folded into. So the previous system was me holding on to all the materials and bringing it every single time. Um, but that does not need to be the system this year. Mm -hmm. um, that can be evolved and changed. I think it would just depend on since it is on a Saturday figuring out how if the materials were stored in the central office how we'd acquire them or if they're at one person's house and then someone else picks them up mm -hmm. I, I think that would have to just be some logistics just we could figure out requires some communication that's all communication it's the perfect committee for that um, and, <laughs> <laughs> and scheduling I think Google Google Sheets worked pretty well last time so just trying to okay. think about what times I know last year I'm trying to remember what times we spoke about. Um, might have been 9 to 12. Are there any times that the committee members think would be most beneficial? Um, 
What time does it open? It's like eight. eight. I think it opens at eight, but it's a little bit chaotic. I think yeah. by nine. Nine. Probably, so yeah, that sure. seems about right. Nine to twelve. That's it's good three 12. hours. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So tentatively nine to twelve. Alrighty. Um, other spring events, other visibilities around the city. I I tried to look into some. I I was not able to find too too many. Are there any? that you two are aware of? Um, Pride, Pride is going to be happening awesome. this year. <clears throat> I don't know, and I'll have to talk to the folks planning it. Pardon me. <coughs> it's going to be multiple events okay. scattered over the course of the month, I believe. Um, there's like a family picnic happening at Kimball Jenkins. Is that separate from Pride, or are you it's discussing part, the various? It's okay. part of Got it. Pride. Okay. Um, but I can do some more digging into if that is a space we could or should be at. Okay. Um, I know that they are not planning on being on the State House lawn anymore. Okay. It's more scattered all over the place and engaging in different is unique. Is in July? Even though June is Pride Month, I, I heard rumors that the events... Yeah, I have happen. to double check on the dates. It's They're mm -hmm. starting to become more available, but I know some of the folks planning it, so okay. I'll reach out to them. Something also that just came to mind, but, but this is in a similar area as um, downtown for spring track meets. If we wanted to be like present at Memorial Field for these various athletic oh, events. Um, I guess trying to think of other areas of the city where we could be present I'm trying to think of ongoing events in the spring superintendent are you aware of any no, no. I just want to remind everybody about graduation if you can make it mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah i got to yeah, i got to RSVP graduation. for that yeah just let um, Lisa Lamb know for grad robes yeah graduation robes you order any graduation robes Sarah no I know that it came through my email at one point, and I thought to myself, I need to make time to do that. And that's about as far as my response went, yeah. so I apologize. Would you, go, would you be going? Yeah, what's the date of it? Um, June 17th. Oh. Here you go, community. You get to watch the board, uh, figure out check logistics, our check our calendars. I'll be there. I'll be there. What's the timeline? Because I do have a conflict. Not all board members attended, but yeah. as many that could did. Okay. No, that's good to know. And it, does it? Do you? What time does it usually begin? Ten. Ten a.m. They like to have us there by nine thirty. And it probably goes until. Specific seating for the board. Okay. A specific place for the board to sit. Okay. So I know we typically go to the high school graduation. Has there ever been a tradition of going to the other graduations, like middle school and elementary? I don't know about middle school. Let me get back to you on the middle school. I'm not sure what they Well, that's such a nice idea. Because that, right. that would be interesting. they're going to do a middle school graduation. Um, sort of just ending the year with a, an award ceremony and not having an official. Mm. If they do, that would be something really great for the board to, mm -hmm. to oh, join I'd, as I'd well. That. Yeah, I will be at the Conquer the graduation. I can go to it. high school this year on Tuesday of the the 13th? Yes, thank you. Um, that is the Hall of Fame. Uh, right. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Wall of Fame at the high school. The first oh. two inductees are going in. This has been Michael Reardon's um, project. And uh, uh, Supreme Court, former Supreme Court Justice um, David Suter. Oh. was a good graduate of Concord High School. And there's another passed away, but his family is all coming, and he was a, um, uh, some, he was in the service and fought in a number of wars on behalf of the United States, so he's going into a camp, I don't remember his name. So those two will be honored on um, the 13th, and that's always a nice event. Awesome. The 13th? Yeah. Okay. For us to be there. Yeah, of course. To be there. Would that be uh, during the day or an evening? I suspect it'll be Okay. Uh, 
Um, and, the, and the last event that's coming up, and again, we don't have to have a table, and we don't have to have all that, but it's nice to have board members present, and that's John Broderick, from the Supreme New Hampshire yep. Supreme Court mm -hmm. Justice will be will will be um, the date for you. Um, yeah, May twenty fourth. Um, and I'll get you more information. It's going to be at the community center. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, and I've already got that arrangement. I just need the time. But yeah. Also, I'll provide a child. Oh, that's great. I am tied up that evening beginning at 4 o'clock. Yeah, so it starts, I'm I think, at 5. I've got it in my okay. five, but could be a little bit later. I'll check with Janine. She's, mm -hmm. she's working with uh, Justice Jane Kennedy, who's mm -hmm. the Supreme Court Justice. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I think we have. Do we yeah. need more? I think so. We had like a lot. I mean, oh, wow. I put that on my fridge. That's super convenient. Yeah. I'm constantly Googling the school's mm -hmm. number. <laughs> um, thank you, Kara. And I think that would be very helpful for us to yeah. figure out I'm as we get closer. I'm happy to take the lead on that. And, like, I can fill out the forms. And awesome. Okay. Oh, you're thank the best. you. Thank you. Um, okay. So it seems like we've talked through a bit of what we can go in the spring. Mm -hmm. For the next few weeks, we can gather the permit and then once I'll, I'll let folks know once that is concluded and get a spreadsheet together we can move from there thank you um all right legislative breakfast forum we had a well before i move on any other thoughts for the visibility no nope. we do have um as you guys know i work at red river and a couple of um programs have popped up around like kids and okay. things like that and it just kind of pinged my interest if it was ever something you'd want to ask the organization that's putting on the event if it was worth partnering um, and I'm happy to just sort of email you when these things pop up but mm. I'm not I wasn't quite sure how to communicate it yeah, yeah. You know, there's one coming up in May it's a documentary on um, anxiety in kids um, oh. and uh, you know it would be a great opportunity to talk about the services that we have in the district for mental health partnerships and definitely so, but is that like with Lynn Lyons by any chance? It might be. Oh, she's cool. Yeah, but it would need sure. obviously because we don't necessarily have a relationship with everyone that puts these events on. It would have to be an ask, and it would have to be an appropriate partnership. Mm -hmm. You know, because anybody can pay money to show a movie at Red River Theater. So I feel like it would still have to be a good fit. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't want to just say, "Oh yeah, we should be there." So I'd want to have a discussion about it first. Perfect. Make sure yeah. everybody was on board. You do some nice work. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't they? Yeah. And it just, it really, like, it brings community members in that want to know, you know, like, oh my gosh, here's these issues. What is the district doing about it? Or, like, what are parents doing about it? You know, so mm -hmm. it would really kind of, um, I think, close some loops. Well, not not to give any of um, the staff more or administrators more um, responsibilities, but that could be something where John Fabrizio, or I'm, I'm thinking someone else who works directly with students, mm -hmm. could be a good resource. Mm. Um, yep. Superintendent, I'll let you ruminate on that one. Yeah, I'll just I'll I'll put it on like my list of things to just I'll bring it up when it when it comes up if I think it would be a good fit. Awesome. And we can talk about it. Actually, that sort of like pings another thing for me. Um, I recently was asked by Volunteer New Hampshire. This is sort of in the recent past. Um, I participated in an AmeriCorps panel talking about running for school board, what's that like, what's it like to serve your community. And I was just asked to do the same for Leadership Concord. They have an education day coming up Wednesday. It was very last minute ask, but um, they wanted representation from somebody who's been elected to a school board uh, because they did not have any public school voice on the panel. So I'll be doing that. But I wonder- Is this the one that, who, who runs that? The, oh my goodness, what is his name? Is it done by the chamber? Yes. And the gentleman who is in charge of Education Day runs the Beach Hill School in Hockington. Um, and uh, he uh, called me on Sunday and was like, I know this is incredibly last minute, but do you have bandwidth on Wednesday morning? And I said, absolutely. I'd love to be there. There's a big piece in the paper about that leadership conference, and I noticed there was nothing in it it's for education. Yeah, they do. It's similar to Leadership New Hampshire in that they have different aspects of right. uh, of the community um, full days. So, <laughs> um, so I'll be there as a, as an elected awesome. uh, school board member. Cool. Um, and I wonder if that's something that we sort of like make more available to the community when they're having conversations about public education that. You know, we have really lovely people that serve on this board. Um, any one of us could show up, and if we have the bandwidth, uh, provide that kind of insight, like our president. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how you doing? I'm well, thank you. I just thought I'd come in and no. sit in. Yeah, great to see you. <sighs> thank you, um, uh, Board President Richards, for joining us today. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, I had a physical therapy appointment. You're so right good. on time. You're right on time. Um, so just to like complete that thought, 
maybe making ourselves more available to the community when they're having those conversations and know that we are willing and available to be a voice on behalf of the district for things like that might be a use, uh, useful thing. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay, cool. So anytime I um, get those kind of phone calls, if I'm unable to jump in, I'll just let everybody think, else know, yeah. hey, this opportunity exists. And like they have speakers bureaus for different orgs. Um, we could do something along those lines of providing an elected voice to a co to any conversation. Definitely. Um, so I'll I'll like noodle on it some more. Yeah, because that immediately like I start thinking about like we should probably have a framework like general guidelines for things that we would we would want to participate in. Yeah, you yeah. Know, like we might say no to some invitations, and we want to make sure that there's a reason we say yes or we say no, so yeah. that people feel. Like they're empowered to be able to take something on yeah. if they want to. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, sorry. Thank you, John. Take a oh, show. thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. I, th I think those are good thoughts. So, thanks. So, thanks. is that next Wednesday, Sarah? Yes, ma'am. It begins at, or no, not next one. It's this Wednesday, which is why he was very apologetic about the last minute nature of the request. So it's on the 19th. Um, it begins at the Beach Hill School. Um, they start with a panel of folks, and so they have every aspect of education. And then they're going to tour different facilities, and one of those facilities is our career and technical school. Um, not the high school, CRTC. Um, that's the aspect of public education that they wanted to loop in for folks, which is great. Like, that's a crown jewel for sure. Put that on display for folks to understand. But they're also touring St. Paul's. They're touring Beach Hill School. So um, they're trying to be very inclusive in the way that they are exploring education. So I'm very grateful to be there as a voice talking about the well, wonderful things that there. we do. I mean, it, it, let's face it, you know, most, most children attend public schools. And so 86 percent public, you know, public <laughs> schools should have a voice. When and out, yeah, you know, an equivalent voice to yeah. businesses and, you know, other other organizations. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's I feel like there's lots of other opportunities that I definitely have sort of like the purview of being adjacent to. Um, so including like being able to make presentations about education and stuff like that love to make that more available to this whole group so and I, you know I've done over at the Seacoast Seacoast uh, leadership New Hampshire yeah there, I presented as a superintendent so oh that's great know, when they had their education yep piece so mm -hmm. um, I'm happy to do any of that Anybody okay in our office would be happy to do that so wonderful then I'll yeah I'll be sure to run yeah. things by your team great hmm great it's funny, I just looked at that the other day, on the last week or the week before they had an article in the monitor. Yeah, yeah. Great. Awesome. Great. Awesome. awesome. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, so, Jim, we kind of just discussed what we wanted to be involved in for this upcoming spring. Mm -hmm. um, and now we are on to number three, Legislative Breakfast Forum. Last week was initially when we were planning on meeting with the city and legislators. Um, unfortunately, a key, some key legislators were unavailable who would have had updates related to the budget and yeah. we decided it would be prudent to postpone. Um, I'm not sure there's too, too much to discuss here. We, we had a previous kind of agenda mostly surrounded around legislative updates around education mm -hmm. um, or changes to education policy and funding or is there anything though in particular that folks want to include again since we're talking about this we want to talk about uh i've been asked about adequacy and how it all plays out so mm. i mean certainly that's relevant to to uh the district um i had already spoken to superintendent to mention that some of the city council people wanted to know why Bedford was getting more money than us and a few other communities that, you know, didn't necessarily jump to mind with regards to that. And so, you know, I think that would be a great discussion to have. Mm -hmm. Superintendent, you get that? 
Mm -hmm. Awesome. Anything else? I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad that we're going to persist in making sure that this conversation continues. I think it's a valuable one. Definitely. And I and I think, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do we have a date? Did I miss it? No, I do don't we have a date yet. Yeah, we don't. I'll have to talk to Mayor, see if mm -hmm. there's another date. We it's a wonky it time for legislators. Mm -hmm. End of June by the time all said and done. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's true. Let's we'll try again. So this, yeah, the, we kind of coordinated in a way that our, the first one was um, facilitated by the school district. This next meeting is facilitated by city council to help um, build gotcha. that relationship. Gotcha. Um, and then it also will be hosted at um, the community center, which will be mm -hmm. great to have another mm -hmm. area. Yeah. Um, but segueing into um, city school district relationships, superintendent, are there any updates on athletic fields? No, I don't have any. Okay. I know that that was brought up at the last city council meeting, the athletic fields, um, and the mayor was very interested in including that into the city's budgeting for this year. Right. Well, we talked about that. You know, we've been deciding, we, you know, this has got to be a lot of planning work that has to go into looking at that memorial field. Mm -hmm. And that's where, that's where we're at. So um, they've actually um, been, we, we had a meeting, mm -hmm. um, we've actually begun to lay out what does that look like, what would the field look like, what, is the, what are the needs there. So that's mm -hmm. kind of where we are right now. We know that there'll need to be engineering and architectural design yeah. um, around the, just, the, the, just think about the, the stands, right? The field has to be all redone because of the water table. Mm -hmm. um, there needs to be practice fields. So they have, they've begun to do some schematics, okay. but really it's going to fall in the hands of engineers and architects. And whatever's done, there's a commitment at least to discuss that and to share uh, the costs. Okay. But those, we don't know those things yet, and it really hasn't gone to the board yet, so. Right. Um, but that's where the initial discussions were, and that's where we, we've ended. We don't have another meeting. I'll have to check with Matt and Jack and see if they did an, a, a set another meeting date. Okay. Um, the last meeting I had to leave was a situation that needed my attention. So um, There are many. Yeah. <laughs> so I left, and so I didn't get a date, but I will mm -hmm. check on that. Thank you Thank very you. much. Any other thoughts on this topic? Um, okay, so superintendent reminded me as we were putting together the agenda that in addition to our meeting with the legislature, we usually have an additional meeting with the city councilors and the city manager and mayor. That is not scheduled yet, correct, superintendent? That's right. Um, so what we should aim to do is figure out a relative agenda um, and is there a time of year that we were thinking? We usually do it in the spring, right? Mm -hmm. The late spring. Late spring. <coughs> uh, yeah, we usually have We did it here the last time. Multiple times a year, so. I think we usually do one in the fall, early early on in the fall, and then awesome. we did At we least do one two. in the spring. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so like May, are we thinking, yeah. or June? Okay. Um, and it seems like a lot of the items that we discussed tonight <laughs> could also be included on yeah. that conversation mm -hmm. from athletic fields to uh, city school board partnerships, um, even outreach if we wanted to do community outreach together. I know at the Multicultural Festival, uh, we were stationed right next to the city council. Oh, that's great. Um, and it was nice because then mm -hmm. people could interact with the city councilors and the school board members at the same time. So finding more ways to do that is always. And I, I shared with the equity committee today that the mayor is most interested in working with us in the diversity council that would affect the, both the schools and, and the community. So I think it's a wonderful idea that the both of these, these governmental agencies work together on that issue. I think it's, so he's most interested in doing that, and I, I told him we were too, so, um, and we'd be happy to help in any way. So talking about kind of city school district DEIJ initiatives That's as correct. well? Okay. That's correct. So, so far on here, I have DEIJ initiatives, athletic fields. What else do board members think could be a, and this is not a um, 
conclusive permanent list. list, permanent list. Either. Well, we mm -hmm. always ask them what 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 do they have on the docket for themselves? Mm -hmm. You know, what what are the big um, pieces, new bridges, roads? <laughs> um, I know ninety three has been in, uh, talked about. Uh, I think the planning. Uh, Housing is huge. Housing. So mm -hmm. I would, I mean, that's the message that we get the most from families, not having suitable housing. Mm -hmm. um, and then we share what we're still working on the school project, the middle school project. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're pulling from the same shallow pool, <laughs> you know. It's good to be on each other's radar and know what the other team is sort of calculating towards in the near yeah, future. And, and I think they need to understand the safety issues that we're facing. I agree. Both from a social media point of view, you know, to the phone calls. Or, I mean, look, just this year, we've had several situations where we've yeah, gone right into lockdown. Well, and we've witnessed other communities across New other Hampshire, what they've, what they've had to deal with as well. We Portsmouth. talked about Portsmouth, you know, in yeah. our group today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and and what they just went through. Yep. Anything no, that, that wasn't somebody calling long distance. No, that was that was in the somebody right. a neighbor right there. Yeah, <coughs> so. Rochester had a similar situation happen as Did well. They? Yeah, mm -hmm. they had a bomb threat. So it's hitting everybody frequently. Yeah. <laughs> so. I think I think housing is a very good point to bring up as yeah. well because yeah. I know a lot of um, individuals and families are forced to leave because of the lack of affordable housing. Anything else to add on this? Well, that's pretty extensive. So. It is very extensive. Yeah, well, so. just because it's extensive doesn't mean we can't delete, <laughs> amend. We're just set time curtail. for a longer meeting. <laughs> yeah, I think it just outlines so many areas that we need to coordinate with the city mm -hmm. not just in the taxes but in you know uh, the lifestyle and life and lives of everybody here so uh, right. housing and schools can't go more hand in hand agreed poetic hand in glove, one hand in glove. <laughs> <laughs> well that is all we had on here for today but mm -hmm. is there anything else any board member would like to address bring up Discuss, discuss at a future meeting. No? Then I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, meeting is adjourned. Okay, great work.